Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to the third episode of this crazy little series. I'm excited, actually, because I feel like I finally get to do things. I finally get to uh, make chests which is kind of all I've wanted to do. So I'm going to get to it and answer some questions as well. Uh, and I need to probably put you in a fence or something. Oh, okay. Hello. I don't know. I still don't know if I'm going to name you, honestly, because I don't know if I'm going to stay here forever. I think that this is just about the most Stacy plays area to start. Like, I think it's a great starter area. But I kind of, you know, I always was sort of thinking that I wanted, like, a cooler... You know the biome, actually, that I think would be the coolest to live in? Would be, um... Like, one of those alpine meadows. Like, something up in the world. Like, uh, up in the world. What am I saying? Up in the mountains? high up in the world there we go let me make the bread either an old growth forest some kind of like cool mossy um forest or an alpine meadow would kind of be like the end goal but i think that this place is perfect to make like a you know like i'm gonna make like a like a chest room, like a boat kind of area. I could maybe even make like a lighthouse. Something very, very like cartography, very, I don't know, navigational. Since, I'm, since I've been so navigationally challenged in this series so far. And is this annoying when I craft things like this? Because technically you can craft things by over here. I don't think I can play Minecraft another way. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, this is Spuds. You guys know Spuds, but I'd also like you to meet <sighs> Rachel. This is Rachel. I just, I, at first I said no way on earth. And then the more I thought about it, it was like, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. I Dang it, I didn't... You know, you're the rusty wolf. So, like, rusty was right there. Rusty, copper, you know, sweet potato. Ooh, Spuds and Rachel. Uh, anyway, <laughs> one thing I do want to do, actually... Actually, no, I don't, because I only have... Do I even have one bone? I have one bone. So we need to work on that. But the problem is, is I just, I need, I don't know what to do. Part of me wanted to go get, do I have, um, I have a shovel. Part of me wanted to go collect some sand and some yellow clay. Um, to get some materials to maybe start building something. Because I do want to have just like a little bit of an enclosed structure. Like I just literally put my furnace and everything um just out in the in the open and my bed i want to have just like i don't want to get really annoyed with terraforming like i want this to look natural um but i want to have everything just in an enclosed area where i can you know close a door and not be worried about spuds and rachel getting getting hit by something but i also do need to get some like iron smelting for um just a full set of armor in case I do. I don't want to. Oh, there's so much sugar cane over there. I should take a boat. Because I want to make a map too, which requires some sugar. I really also want to make a clock and a compass. People were saying I could do something cool with the cartography table as well. Like, um, I kind of, I was looking into it a little bit. And I don't think I fully understand it. There's still there's still some things that vary between Bedrock and, and Java, huh? And then I'm not sure if if it was saying I could make a supersized map. Uh, anyway, I have some questions that I got. So I, I feel like one of these days I'll do like a mining episode where 
I answer a lot of questions maybe. But I, I like I like just kind of spacing them in, like a little bit, like peppering them in. Uh, actually, no, we should get this smelting. And then I'm a little bit worried about, you know what, I still need to figure out beds and spawns. Because I feel like people are getting mad at me for, well, I saw some people getting mad at me for leaving beds. But then I saw some people saying I needed to set my spawn, which I know is you can do when you use a bed during the day but th does not sleeping does that not then reset your spawn is that, are they two different things like do i need to go to the bed right now I all this tall grass and go like that no that didn't even happen so so how do you set your spawn i don't know uh okay i'm going to smelt this and I saw some surface iron actually I don't want to get too close to this quarry area because I feel as though there's just um see it's up there I feel like it's uh just gonna be inviting for skeletons and stuff but I would sure like just a full set of armor so that I don't feel completely useless against skeletons. Um, before I answer some questions too, oh, it's over there. That's kind of, I should just, oh, see, there's a skeleton right there. I should just go caving eventually and I'll get so much stuff. Um, I, I guess I haven't really been completely clear on my goals for the series because I just kind of wanted to start and then figure the series out as I went, which is very unusual for me, honestly. Um, and I don't even know why I'm going to go get the yellow terracotta. I just like, I enjoy the yellow. Uh, so I figured, why not build with it? I don't even know what I'm building yet because I kind of feel like, yeah, if I was in an alpine meadow, I'd build a really cool log cabin. I would like to build a lighthouse, but I feel like that's also going to take me... Like, what I want right now is just a complete, like, chest area, bed, crafting table, dogs, inside, safe shelter. And I'm not going to accomplish that today if I'm like, all right, stage one of the lighthouse begins. <laughs> like, it's going to take a long time if I'm, you know, not editing that much. But I do have to edit like a couple little things. Like right now I really need to like, uh, what's the word when you like, I don't need to blow my nose. I need to suck my nose in. Oh my gosh. What is the, like, there must be a word for this. Sniff? Is it just sniff? I need to sniff. So you know what? Maybe I'll leave it in. <laughs> um, I haven't really told this story that much yet but I did get very very sick in September and then I sniffed again you guys got two sniffs is it gonna get night did I just come over here yeah and I didn't bring okay uh it's fine it's totally fine I'm gonna mine a bunch of this yellow uh I did get really sick in September and I'm still dealing with some of it sometimes I do have to cough and I will edit that out is all that I was trying to say um is that I, I it's not I feel like I said at the beginning this is unedited and no if I what was that what is that is that an armadillo Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I do not recognize this um, this noise in Minecraft. And, oh, scute, thank you so much. I needed a couple more of these. We do have to come up here periodically, but right now we need to go back to bed because it's the, um, it's the striped wolf. That sounds like a bad guy. <gasps> no! What? There's, there's a, Pillager! Why is there a pillager? I was like, wow, armadillos sound so interesting. It's a raid! I'm being raided! 
naked and I can't sprint because of, is there a ravager? This is terrible. I don't have, I don't have armor. I don't have, uh, I don't know. I don't have anything. Oh gosh, I didn't get home fast enough either. And now it's, now it's going to be really dark and things are going to spawn by my bed and my wolves are by my bed. This is why I wanted just like a safe space in a house. Okay, at least I have some torches. Ooh, spuds, Rachel, pillagers. <laughs> I was literally like, that armadillo sounds like a pillager. Look at them. Look at them up there. That is quite literally where I was like, guys, this is our entire valley right here, except we're gonna spend most of our time right above my head, getting yellow terracotta and looking for a striped wolf. I don't have, I don't have arrows. I don't have a bow. I could take them out from a range. If I have eight arrows and I can make a bow, this is dumb. This is not, I always get this recipe wrong too. And I probably don't need to, but I got it right. Um, I have six feathers. I need them for other things too. Uh, did I have flint? Did I get flint? Three flint. See, look at this. Me having to walk. Why did I put my furnace away from my uh, <laughs> crafting table? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I've got 20 arrows. Now, if it's just the two of them, that's not bad. And I slept here, so if I die, I would respawn. Is this dumb? Am I being dumb? I feel like if I come at them from a distance and I have 20 arrows, I could shoot them. Does that give me bad omen? Is that if you kill the one with the banner on his head? I'm just afraid that a ravager is going to come out of nowhere. I meant to put more sand in to smelt. So, okay, I want to shoot them without them really seeing me. I just feel like there's going to be a ravager. I can't waste arrows like that. I can't waste my arrows like that. Now I'm down to 19. And I have my shield. So stop being a baby about it. Take the high ground. This is, I mean, this is a bad idea, truthfully. Did that, does that mean that I, how do I, how do I, how do I use the shield again? Oh, like that. Okay. I've lost the high ground. I've lost the high ground completely. Oh my gosh. Lure them down here. Lure them into like the water or something maybe. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's a raid. It's a raid. How do I switch from my, how do I, oh, there's a, there's an outpost right there. That's why they're here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm so gonna die. Oh, I killed one. Oh, I killed two. The guy with the banner is up there. Oh, this is, this is bad, right? Like, I probably shouldn't do this. That's, they're always gonna spawn here because they've got a whole encampment right there. I, you know, I did raise my render between episodes. <laughs> <laughs> because I noticed it was quite low and my brightness was on moody. And so now I can see farther. And so maybe this was not the best place to make my home. And I don't know if I'm supposed to kill this guy. I think that that's what gives you bad omen. And yet, here we go. Voluntary exile. Yeah, so I did the thing where I said, hey, does killing the one with the sign give you bad omen? And then I did it anyway. So now I've got a bad omen. So um, 
and I need to work out how to use your shield when you have a bow equipped. Do you literally have to just go off of the the bow and then and then switch the shield? That's kind of obnoxious. Is there a hot key where I could have the bow and then switch to the shield? Let me know if you if you will. But I ha I had to hear you scared me, Armadillo. Is there a ravager here? Oh gosh, I'm scared. Uh, I had to defend this area because this is my only, uh, my only Badlands Woods tiny little area where a striped wolf might spawn. Not that I have, I have only one bone. So I really hope that I don't see a striped wolf right now. But I feel like unless we find another giant mesa nearby, this is... Oops. This is where my striped wolf is going to come from. Which, you know, I didn't mean to get two wolves right off the bat. Like, I think my goal for this series is definitely to get all eight of the new wolf variants. And to also, I'll, I'll add one up to that. Where was my little... Here it is. That was fun. Um, do I have a torch on me? No. My other caveat is that I want to have all eight wolves alive at the same time. So if one of them dies before I find all eight wolves, then I have to replace it. My goal is not just to find all eight wolves naturally, but to also have them all exist at the same time in my, in my house or whatever. I'm going to cough. <clears throat> okay, this is probably for the purposes of the amount of space I'm going to build. Two stacks. I feel like I could make... I hate, I hate glazed terracotta, but part of me just wants to commit and have like a floor of yellow glazed terracotta. So, I think between the terracotta and the glass, and maybe I'll pick up some wood, that it should be fine. So anyway, yeah, dreams for the series to survive with Bad Omen is one now. Uh, which I just think means I can't go into a village. Oh, I should have let him. I should have let him be. Thank you for these scutes. You're very cute. Um, maybe a, a house settling in a alpine uh meadow maybe is a goal um what else oh to make a clock that's my goal and i guess the striped wolf i guess it's not just he's gonna spawn in the badlands woods but then he would wander so i kind of just need to figure out a route that i can take around this whole area I can't believe we're by a pillager outpost. And I also can't believe, like, this is not... This is exactly what I did in the last episode. Like, there's a steep drop now to to get home. So, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad, is what I'm saying. Oh, maybe jungle wood. I'm gonna get some jungle wood. That, I feel like, will go better with... The yellow? Am I making that up? Oak is probably better. But, you know, I have oak. I should just have everything. So then I can decide. Because I do think I prefer the jungle for, like, trap doors and such. Now I'm afraid to not have my shield up. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let me read another comment. Trinity says, you may not see this comment, Stacey, but you really did change my life, and I know lots of others as well. You gave me the gift of making my childhood just a little better because I could escape into your videos and be so comforted. Thank you so much for giving us something to look forward to and to push us to keep going. Oh, that is, that is such a nice comment, and I have gotten... A lot of, uh, ooh, oh, lichen. 
Ooh, skeleton, but I want the lichen. Uh, I've received so many comments like this lately, and it's, um, it's so wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. I had absolutely no idea when I started making Minecraft videos that this is the path that my, <laughs> my life would take. I know now that for the rest of my life, even if I go on to do something completely different in a different field, I know that I will always have people that are, are just like saying things like that to me and are appreciative of uh, the stuff I've done in Minecraft. It's just always going to be a part of my life forever, which is just wild to think about. Uh, Spuds, Rachel. I've got to get you guys enclosed. And you too, you're doing a very nice job of staying around me. Oh, I did not mean to jump up on you just now. I thought the only thing we had to worry about were, were mobs, like creepers and skeletons. And no, we've got, we've got pillagers nearby. <gasps> it's them! It's him! It's him! Is that the woods wolf or the striped wolf? I can't tell. I need to make a spyglass. I think it might just be a woods wolf, but it looks so different from here. But I also, you've just had this armor on for like a really long time. I can't tell. Are you a woods wolf or a striped wolf? Spuds, I, you got to take this off because I just, I don't feel like I know you enough yet. Like, I can't tell. I think that that's what you are. I think that that's the same. Right? It's kind of the same, like, sides. It's, it's, yeah, I'm gonna have to really... That's sad, because part of me wants to go get it. But I'm pretty sure that that's a woods wolf. Which makes sense, like, there's... There's a forest, like, I'm, I'm surrounded by forest, and that's the most common wolf. I don't think it's a striped wolf. But... How do you make a spyglass? Because I would really like one. Uh, spy? Is this just gonna tell me spyglass? Is it not just called a spyglass? I don't know how to use these things. I don't know what I'm doing and that makes me not wanna, it makes me not wanna try to figure it out while I'm while I'm recording. Uh, okay. So let's smelt some of this. And we've got this and some oak. Let's get a little bit more oak. I think we'll use oak logs, but maybe jungle like doors and such, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so nice and it's been such an interesting uh experience right because things are starting to happen that i don't expect where like i was at the airport once and i handed my id to the tsa agent and they were like oh my gosh i was a huge fan of you and joey <laughs> and, I, and i was like that's that's doesn't usually happen <laughs> at the tsa um uh, there was one time I was on a road trip uh, and I was in uh, Mesquite, Nevada and I went into a Starbucks and I'd actually just been crying. And so I was, I was not in a good place. And I, my, my, I'm sure my um, eyes were red and puffy and I picked up my Starbucks and I asked for a pop cup for Molly, I think. And the person who got me the pup cup was like, oh my gosh, Stacy. <laughs> and I think we took a picture too. So I think there's a picture of me somewhere, you know, crying <laughs> in a Starbucks. Um, but it's wonderful though. That was, that was maybe less wonderful, but it, it still is wonderful. It's, it really is. I have a story that I actually meant to tell uh, I think in the first episode I said I have to get something off my chest and then just proceeded to talk about something completely different. And what that story was, was about a time, not that I got recognized, 
but a time that Molly got recognized. And I felt so bad about it because, well, let me just tell the story, I guess. Uh, and maybe I will build while I tell the story. I'm going to, I think I'm going to clear this level. Am I being dumb right now? I'm going to break this pickaxe for sure, but that's okay. But I don't know that I need to break. Yeah, no, I, I, I need to, I need to. Uh, so I can't remember what year it was, but it was, it was during the last couple of years during the pandemic. I went to Idaho and wanted to go to a Huckleberry Festival because... I mean, it, does that sentence need explaining? It's a Huckleberry Festival. It was awesome. So I wanted to go to this Huckleberry Festival in uh, it's Donnelly, Idaho. And I went. And it was a very weird trip, actually, because there were a lot of forest fires that year. And so it was completely smoky. Uh, you couldn't see anything. And I went, and there was a parade so it's crowded i get my huckleberries and the parade is about to happen i have molly with me but it's very hot and it's very smoky and it was just kind of a weird situation i guess that's fine everyone is lining up for the parade to start and it's about to it's like literally a minute away and so the street is all blocked up or blocked off and people are all crowded on the sidewalks. And it was like really crowded. Um, really, really, really crowded. And I'm walking and I'm trying, like we're, you're walking basically in single file, uh, trying to find a, an open place to sit, but people are like parked kind of near on the edge of the streets. I feel like I'm not explaining this very well. I'm walking and it's like, you're in like, almost like a current, right? Like you're in a current of people and you're just going and you're going and you can't really stop. And all of a sudden I hear a little kid say, mom, that looks like a YouTuber's dog named Molly. I kid you not. It was like the craziest, probably the craziest moment of my life. Because I never in a million years, Molly doesn't get out much, first of all. <laughs> we don't really, I don't take her that many places. We don't really go many places together. I used to take her, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I would take Molly to the mall with me. Like the outdoor mall, the Grove. Or like, um, I would take her to like a brunch spot. This was back before people, I mean, people take their dogs everywhere now. And I always kind of felt weird about it. But I thought, well, Molly's small enough and very well behaved then maybe I will take her. And everyone would just kind of be like, <laughs> everyone would come up to her and be like, oh, how old is she? And I would be like, what, two? <laughs> like, like, she's not old. I mean, now, now she looks quite old, but she didn't at the time. And she just kind of looks sad, I think. So people would be like, oh, what's wrong with her? And I'd have to be like, nothing nothing that's just her face <laughs> like what now i'm wondering if i wanted to dig the floor down or if i want to walk up stairs into the i kind of want to walk straight into it so then i'll have to dig the floor out too but whatever uh i don't even i don't even know what i'm trying to make really i'm just gonna make something i think um Anyway, where was I going with that? I would take Molly places. But yeah, we don't, I don't take her that many places now. Uh, but yeah, someone recognized her at the beginning of the Huckleberry Parade. But the sad thing was, was that I, uh, I couldn't really stop. I well, I knew that to stop, I was gonna make people mad at me. I'm a little bit worried that if I stop, it will cause kind of a commotion because the parade is about to start. There's like, you know, there's cars, there's horses, there's like floats. It was a, a big thing. And so I, I didn't stop. And it's honestly, I regret it so much. Like I felt, I just felt so terrible forever 
Like, I, I was racked with guilt for not stopping. But I have to say, like, I didn't even see where the voice came from. That's kind of, it wasn't like, I'm, I'm saying this like it was a giant crowd and it was a Huckleberry Parade in Idaho. Like, it wasn't a huge crowd. But I was just so worried that if I stopped, first of all, what is that conversation? Is it like a, why yes, little girl who was talking to her mother? This is Molly. <laughs> Like, it just sounded a little bit like, I, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to get through that. Like, be like, hey, it is Molly. <laughs> like, because sometimes, that's the other thing too, is like, sometimes you, as a person who can get recognized, you'll know that someone has recognized you. This happened to me at the eye doctor a couple weeks ago, where... I'm pretty, I'm like 98% sure that this person recognized me who worked at the eye doctor, but she didn't want to say that. And that's okay. Like, and maybe it was because, you know, she was surrounded by her boss or maybe it was because one, two, three, four, five, um, I don't know why she didn't want to say that, but she didn't want to say that. And I respected that. And so it was a little awkward because she had me sign a piece of paper. Like she had me write down. She asked me a question. I can't remember, but it was sort of like, a, I'm never going to say, Hey, do you, uh, do you know who I am? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I were to say, you recognize me, don't you? I would never, never in a million years. So, um, yeah, that's all I'll say is it's been a little interesting. I probably did not need this many. I did not confirmed because I just, did you just push me? You know, why am I not riding you back and forth? Anyway, so, so that was part of it. It was like, I had to make a split second decision. The parade is about to start. Do I disrupt the flow of traffic and and look for this person? Oh, we need to make a pickaxe. So back we back we go. Um do I do I kind of like start looking around and go, who said that? This is Molly, the famous dog. <laughs> like like would Molly have been, you know, drawn a crowd then of people? It was just a lot. It was a lot in a situation. That wolf is just taunting me. It's like, come make sure I'm not the striped wolf. You're not. I can tell. You're definitely spuds, but not spuds. Ooh, let's, bu um, let's dye our bed yellow, huh? Should I break this too now? Someone probably just got mad at me for doing that. Uh... We got to move things over at some point. Anyway, all I'll say is that that was the story. It was a huge regret that I didn't find this person and say, yes, this is Molly. I am that YouTuber because I just loved that, that Molly got recognized. It just meant so much to me. Uh, I just really liked it. So that's all. Little Molly. Okay. Torch, torch. Lanterns are so much better now, but I feel like I'm just, I'm not even there yet, right? Like I need to figure out, I don't have anything. So I'm glad that we're putting down roots here. It's such a me area and we'll be able to just have, you know, uh, a space where we can put chests down and... I left my coal. Anyway, huge regret. If I, if you ask me what my regrets are in life, that's honestly like one of my major regrets is the fact that I did not say to this person, yes, it's Molly. Like, would you like a picture with Molly? Uh, just because I think that that would have been so cute. So cute for little Molly. Um, maybe this should be wood. I need a pickaxe. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, you know, some people were asking me, ah, I see you, why? It's daylight. This is, this is not fun. 
I mean, listen, I love Minecraft, and it is fun, but... Oh, no, 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 don't explode my mesa. Uh, just the fact that this guy just spawned in in day to me. Nightmare, right? Uh, I can't believe, I can't, like, the village is right there. We were so close to the mesa. Oh, if I go in that village now with bad omen... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've done this. I cannot believe I've done this. Uh, okay. I don't know how I want this wood to go. I want this wood to kind of like go up somehow, but then also like bend. Not bend, but like I want to round it off kind of somehow. I don't know. I'm just building this. There's no plan. I don't, I don't like it actually. I hate it. <laughs> so far, bad. So far, it's really bad. But I'm just trying to make it something. Something just small. Again, the whole point, I can build like a really cool lighthouse attached to this in the future. This was just like, can it stop being night and... Um, can you have your wolves somewhere safe? I guess I should have an exit out this way too, maybe. Maybe. Do you think so, horse? Anyway, did I say some people were asking me what exactly the what exactly I did with the Jonas brothers? Did I say that? I feel like it makes sense that someone would want to know that because I just sort of randomly said it. And if I haven't talked about it, then I guess that would be a weird thing to say. So I worked at a company. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this without talking, without like saying my entire LinkedIn. Uh, I worked at a company and I'm also, this is also strange too, just because I don't have silk touch. Not that I can not waste glass. I just, I didn't want to make this super glassy, but I also kind of do. I, I think it's one of those situations where I'm going to have to just start building it and then uh, just keep adding to it. Like it's not going to look good. I'm not necessarily like a builder in Minecraft, so it's not going to look good right away. Um, so I had a job at a company called AOL and it was, uh, I ran a website that was primarily about entertainment, movies, music, TV, but for like a, a young age group, like a, I, oh, I shouldn't do the floor now because it's, I'm going to get like, I'm going to get, no, I'm not going to get phantoms. I've been sleeping. I want to do the floor, but I shouldn't do the floor because I need to figure out a roof situation. Um, also, I think I could make, I don't know why I would want to make a cartography table still, but I think I can. Uh, like this? Look at that. I mean, I could have just gone and stolen one from the village, but now that seems like more trouble than it's worth with the bad omen and all. Uh, okay, well, I see, I did want to put in the floor, though, because I want to put in my bed. Because now I have to sleep over here. And I don't trust myself. But th these are directional blocks, right? Like, why am I trying to do this? I hate, I hate this block more than anything I, I i really really do because i just don't understand what's the true middle because it don't i need like a middle four <gasps> i didn't think this through uh two one two three four one two three four right that should make sense one two three four so there's not a middle four, is what I'm saying. I don't think there's a true middle. We can we can front load it like that. So let me see if I can figure this out. This is like a puzzle that no one asked for. Minecraft, by the way. <laughs> Just 
I'm sure that there are some people to who their brain works like this. It's not me. I failed geometry in school. So for me, I'm like, well, I don't get it. I know it's a pattern. I don't get what, do I need to be facing a certain direction? Do I need to lay the block down? I did that. I did that. This is, this is going to be, I can't do this because this is just going to be like, to me, it's not, it's counterintuitive. Like I should just be able to put it down like here, right? But it's not. It's like, put it down. No. I'll never know. I'll never get it. I got it. <laughs> but that's not even, that's not helpful because I needed to put it over here so that I could put my bed down and now I can't. So, of course, just after all I said about you not wandering away, I don't know where to put this now. I'm just going to put it down there. Um, anyway, so the website, oh, respawn set. So it did work that time. Is that because I broke the bed? Everyone will, everyone will school me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, uh, I would get to interview celebrities. That's a whole other conversation for another episode probably. Is that I've interviewed quite a few celebrities in my life. And one of these days, you know, it's funny because pe people nowadays would just take pictures. But back then, you just didn't really think to do that with people and it was also kind of obnoxious of a thing to do do I want to maybe I don't want to make another layer do I like this I don't think so but I do want to do something like either trap no not trap doors a yellow layer down here could be nice or flowers not flowers but like planting okay listen all I, all I know, this is a weird thing to say, but the Jonas Brothers came to like my company to play a baseball game. And if, if you haven't been following the Jonas Brothers in like 2009, then that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But if you were back then, then if I said to you, they came to my company office to play a baseball game you would be like oh yeah like that's a thing that the Jonas Brothers do <laughs> so they did and they ended up making oh, now I'm wondering how much I can say actually they did a deal this is this is common knowledge they did a deal with AOL to make a website called Cambio and then the website that I ran folded into Cambio and then I started working for Cambio is the short story there's a lot more to that story but that's the short story is that I I worked in Northern Virginia and then I moved to Los Angeles to help run this website oh what I was saying about taking pictures and stuff I have videos actually I could have better than pictures I have video that I'll dig up one of these days um but I went, you know, I went to school for journalism. And so it just wasn't really a thing to be like, let me take a picture with you. It was like, I no, I have a job to do and I'm being paid to do this job. And the job is not to be like, can I please have a picture? Um, so I don't have a lot of pictures with celebrities that I've done stuff with um, because that just wasn't sort of that. That wasn't the thing to do in like 2009, 10, 11 Anyway, uh, I would do things like manage live streams. So if there was a live stream that they were doing, I would, you know, help out with that. I remember there was like a, a live stream I did with them at like Universal City Walk. And there would be a whole other team, like a production team that would be, um, you know, doing the actual like camera work of the live stream don't go away horse uh but i would be the one sort of on the back end it's called like a, a cms like a content management system i would be essentially the person who was doing like the 
the HTML and like the the back end kind of like coding to put this is I sound I'm not making myself I don't like I don't code but in those days it was very niche like people didn't know how to do it people didn't know how to like embed a video on a web page or or something uh so I would do things like that and then and then help with social media and and you know tweet out oh yeah we're doing a live stream right now People were asking kind of like what I did and I and right now I'm just struggling to figure out how to bend this roof. Um, I remember specifically going to New York with Nick uh, because he was taking over a part in a Broadway play called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying uh, from, I believe it was from Daniel Radcliffe who was doing the part and he was taking it over. I think I could be wrong about that. Can't believe I already ran out of yellow, but we should go check the woods wolf. Is the sun setting again or rising? I'm didn't we just sleep? Uh, horse. Let's go look for a striped wolf. Did I say woods wolf? I meant striped wolf. We've got to do like our daily check for a striped wolf. Not that I want to get more than Spuds and Rachel at this point, especially if I am going to like commit to trying to find a uh, old growth forest or an alpine. I don't know why I said old growth forest. I think alpine meadow is like my, oh, you're, it doesn't make sense to take you there because you have to swim. Okay. I got confused just now. Like, where's the sun? Is it rising from over there? It's... It's midday. It's right there. That's why I need a clock. Anyway. Um, yeah, we went to New York, and I was sort of in charge of documenting the moment that he did this Broadway debut. So like we went to Times Square and he got his billboard um, unveiled and then, you know, the actual performance and the after party and I, you know, would take video and post photos and that kind of stuff. And, and then part of that was we went down to like the AOL offices in New York and he went live and did a live stream, uh, which in those days, I mean, they were so popular. Um, and, and, and also lovely. Like Nick is a lovely person. I have nothing but good things to say about my interactions. And like I said, I kept it very professional. Like we're in a lot of meetings together, but I don't, you know, we just, it was all business. So, you know, they were so popular back, back. If you think about like 2011 ish to the, I don't remember when it was. I feel like it was like fall of 2011. To be able to do a live stream and pull like 70,000 viewers or something like that's still that to this day, that is still a lot of people. And I would be, you know, kind of on the hook for, you know, making sure everything went well. Is that a parrot? <gasps> There's a blue parrot. I'm conflicted here because wait, why did I only get 30? We're going to need more than 30 yellow. Anyway, that's all. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that, really. But I hope that that answered your question. I, I'm sure I can talk a lot more about that. But I, I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to just turn this into a, a weird series about all my former jobs. Because, I mean, honestly, that could that could be a while. Sorry about this darkness, too. I meant to turn this up. And I did not. See, a parrot is a really tough call because I feel as though there are certain pets that I really would like beyond the eight wolves in this series. Like I said, I'm not going to get an original pale wolf, I don't think. Um, and, you know, I haven't even named my horse yet. I'm kind of being cautious about that. And I'm saying, oh, I want to be able to, oh, look, a cute little house is starting to form. I want to be able to move, get up and move and go you know, find a cool place to like permanently, permanently live eventually. So I can't just, 
I can't just get, you know, countless pets, right? I can't just get endless, endless pets. But a parrot is an interesting one because they follow you. And so even if I swam, you could come with me. Well, so I know that I want like a fox. I've always, ah, oh, yeah, hi, no. I, no, don't collect seeds to tame this parrot. What are you doing? Don't do it. No, I know. You're cute though and you're blue. Um, oh, look, no seeds. I can't do it. I don't know. It's not like a pets series. Although I've long wanted to do a series where it's like you get every single mob in the game just collect them all do you not get seeds from breaking grass anymore what on earth how in the what in the unlucky why is there just a skeleton right there is it getting dark i think it is and we didn't even <gasps> I didn't look at him, did I? Did I look at him? Did I look at him? Did I look? I'm, I'm trying not to look at you, sir. Uh, I didn't even actually go up into the Badlands woods to look for a striped wolf. And I should go kill that skeleton, honestly, because I have arrows and what I don't have are bones to tame a striped wolf. I'm all backwards in this series. I've got to get my, I've just got to, that's, that's the point is we've got to get this house going so I can organize my chest, so I can see what I have, what I need, what do I need to get? Oh, another goal for this series, I think, although I don't want to, oh, it's, it's a hard goal to say, but I think it would be really nice to have name tags only for the eight wolves. So that is essentially finding eight name tags, possibly more if any of my wolves die. Most likely, I guess that would be through fishing that I would get the name tags. Um, okay, I think we should switch to glass for the roof because I feel like glass to me makes more sense of like how I will eventually bend it up. Like all essentially come up how many blocks am i at right now maybe we'll just go one higher because i like tall ceilings and then here and then this is gonna i i didn't think this building through enough and so i know it and it's gonna look it's just gonna be what it is is it what i originally thought in my brain of doing no, but it just is what it's going to be. Anyway, did I, now I live in fear that I just haven't finished saying everything that I was ever going to say. Did I finish talking? Let's just match this. This is just going to be my, this is just my process. Does it make sense? No. Does it yield results? Yeah. <sighs> One, two, three, four, and then it comes in two. So that's one, two, I think. Three, four, and then, and then it comes in. Four. All right, did we, I think, horse, you're not supposed to, I left you there. You know what, I left you there, I'm sorry. Let me make some doors. Uh, I need you to come back so that I can go, because I think I left some glass smelting. What? Oh, I was like, wait a minute. How did I only get three doors from so much jungle wood? Uh, does this look nice? Yeah, I think, I think the jungle's the right call. I don't know. Maybe I should have set those in. Did I break my axe? I must have. Gosh, now I'm worried that I started another story and I didn't finish it. But let's just read another comment. Sparkle Wolf Girl 67 asks, I'll ask how you came up with the lore for your books with the magical wolves and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. It's kind of funny because the answer is really just the mobs. I mean, not the mobs, the mods. 
the magical powers of the wolves comes directly from Dogcraft and having the Doggy Talents mod and having the wolves have abilities. And I just kind of riffed off of it from there. What would the abilities be and what would be cooler? So that's that. That's all that is. I gotta make another chest or something. Uh, that's a that's a fun question actually um, because these books um, I say books because there's another one that I'm gonna announce soon actually what is this sad music this is really something it's really quite somber um, these books were specifically designed to not um, you could read these ones first, essentially, and read them in any order. Um, oh my gosh, this music. Uh, and I really hope that people do because my friend Melody, you see, this is when I want to start bending, bending the wood. I'm a wood bender, you know me. Um, Melody who people know as Edelim, who did a lot of my like channel art and stuff, um, is the one who illustrated this book. So it actually it really means a lot to me if people actually um, support this book and get it. Uh, not that it didn't mean a lot to me. Oh, I don't have stone. And did I not have more iron? Two. Two cannot make an axe. All I want, I mean, we've already, its it's been a long time now, but all I want in this episode is to have my house done and my wolves inside and like some chests and stuff. And I'm just not even close. Let's get, let's just mine. I, yes, I think there's stone right over there, but I can just mine some stone. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's kind of a, that's what's fun about this book series in my opinion is that while the Wild Rescuer series is four books and they're very linear, uh, like you're supposed to read, people would come up to me all the time at signings and go like, cause they'd be quite young. And so, and, and maybe they got the book, like maybe they got book two at their book fair or something. And they'd say, well, I need to get book book one still. And I'd be like, no, it's, it's, a, it's a progression. <laughs> um, but yeah. These ones can be in any order. Maybe I want to go in sooner on this level so that I just add some kind of like architectural interest to the, it's not, this is probably going to be a disaster. That's like, no, you can't do that. It will mess up everything, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Um, yep. I'm, I think I'm already running into the problem actually because then this one would go there wouldn't it which then that doesn't need to be a block above it maybe i should just connect it up here now this is i mean as long as i keep following my rules then i don't think i can mess up like it, it it's it's maybe not right but it's symmetrical, so who's to say I can't do it? Two and then two. I'm just trying to add interest so that it's not just like a very boring, all the same type build. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to smelt some more glass too. I probably should have dyed this like a... Uh, light gray or something because the clear glass is kind of <sighs> oh I should have dyed it light gray no I mean I'm near the ocean so like that's it's okay I'm just I'm saying it's kind of like a when you're talking about a monochromatic mesa color scheme like I'm obviously doing something right now with like yellows and browns and tan then Tinting the glass just makes all the difference because you think, oh, this is clear glass though, but really it's blue. Like there's, you know, it's, it's blue. And so it throws off 
in a way that I think it wouldn't if I had tinted it either brown or light gray or even yellow. Yellow could have been cool. <sighs> okay, it's whatever. Focus on if you get to the end of this build and it's like, yeah, you want to do you want to replace all the glass with yellow, then do it. Like, that'll be so easy to do. I don't know why I get so worked up like it's ruined. I have to start over like that'll be that'll be so easy to do. Should I display this as like a don't mess with me? I've killed these guys and I'll do it again um, somewhere in my house even. Yeah. <laughs> uh, OK. Yeah, like, it's the same thing as wanting lanterns. Do I want lanterns instead of torches? Sure, that's cooler. But it doesn't need to happen right now. You can replace all the glass and you can replace all the lanterns. What do I want my chests to be? Like, I guess maybe... I was thinking a map wall would be really cool in here, too. So I could do, like, a map wall here... And then like a chest wall here. And then I'm going to move the bed somewhere else. My inventory's full because I need the chests. Maybe like a one, two, and then a one, two. Or should I do, have done... I want them up on the wall too. These chests look ugly. Did they make the texture of chests uglier? I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> That was, that was so shady. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant I don't think it's possible that they did change the chest texture. <laughs> um, but I think it'd be cuter to have... I need to make an axe. I think it would be cuter to have something like up the wall too. And I don't know if I need like six double chests really. And I, I want it to be a little bit more spaced out too. I cannot believe it's night again. And we don't have... Like, I feel like I'd rather do, like, like that almost. Can I pick up my bed? I need it to sleep. Oh, my gosh. It's gonna, my bed despawns. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I love the sunset. Oh, it's going to be so great once we have, once we put everything in the right place. Ooh, that's, see, I knew that that would be, like, the right place to set it. Except against the window would be nice. Um, do I want it, like... I don't want it like off centered like that, I don't think. But I want something like that. <sighs> I could do like a that and then. Uh, that's enough to just make one chest. I need, I wanted to make a like, like something like that and like singles and then doubles. That could be cute, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So that's an empty spot, right? Okay. So we need to do something with the wood. Oh, I just extended that one up higher. No, I think it should, I think it should change direction though. Okay. We really need to make, okay. We need, uh, we need more sand. We need more glass, but that means we need another shovel. But then we also don't have an ax and we need more wood. Everything's fine everything's going fine um all right let me read another message ah i wasn't looking where i was going taylor said omg the way i vividly remember the pic of page at the hollywood sign i love this series so much it feels like a facetime call it feels just like cube stace when the videos were more chill and laid back and more of you actually playing the game if that makes sense but I've also been wondering how fulfilling or rewarding is it having a book series? I know you've always loved books and talked about writing a series. Is it everything you dreamt it would be? I'm so sorry there's a lot going on here. Bookcraft Stace would not like my lack of punctuation. I love that you always come back to the Mesa like it calls you. You always love a sunset in the Mesa. <laughs> that is a really interesting question. That's, that's such a nice question. Thank you so much. Um, that is a real like human to human question um is it is it everything i dreamt it would be is it fulfilling 
so interesting. Uh, yes, I would say that it is. I would say that I don't feel completely like I've gotten to do everything that I've wanted to do that I, that I have goals to do so far. There's a couple other things. Um, other types of books I think I would like to write, um, things like that, that maybe would be nice to do. Um, but as of right now, I would say, yeah, I, I do feel like it's what I really was hoping for. Um, oh, okay. Now we need to actually sort things. I, you know what? No, it's, we're not there yet. <laughs> We're just not there yet. Uh, I, I, I just, I know I'm to the point, oh, I had a shovel. Um, I know I'm to the point where I don't want to throw anything away yet, but I'm not to the point where I feel up to sorting. Just trying to still get a roof. So, and the floor we can do once the roof is done. Um, oak wood. The glass is smelting. We have more yellow if we wanted to bring some yellow around. Which maybe... Uh, the wood. It's really oak logs. We need oak logs. Oh, so we need... You know what we need? We really need an iron axe. If I can... There's iron right there. If I can go around and get that from this direction, maybe. I just don't... Um, I don't see the point of not having iron tools and I'm being a baby about mobs in this series I think I'm almost treating it like um like it's a hardcore world or something like I can't die nothing bad will happen if I die I will respawn here and uh I'll get all my stuff Ugh. Ooh. oh I'm gonna die <laughs> Let's test it out. No, nothing bad would happen. I'd respawn here and I'd go get all my stuff. And I and also I'm probably not going to die. I killed three pillagers. And I don't even think one of them shot me. Oddly. Uh, you know, we have another furnace, but it'll kind of ruin my symmetry. But maybe we should give the... Uh, oh, wait. Did I, did I not break the furnace over there? I thought I had two. Oh, okay. See, I don't even know what to do with this now because this is the pattern. And so now do I start the pattern again? Like just everywhere? I feel like, no, I feel like now these are supposed to, now I'm supposed to make a pattern out of this part here. So, nope, not like that. You know, I can't even do this in this episode until people tell me, see there, how to actually do it. Oh, wait, nope, so close. Don't understand, don't understand, and that's fine. See, so like, that's a pattern, that's a pattern. Like, it, it's clear to me how to do it. It's just, um, it's not clear to me. It's clear to me, but it's not. Let's make the iron axe. We still didn't kill skeletons. Like we keep being, let, should we bring the dogs over? I feel like I haven't wanted to bring them over yet because I'm still too paranoid that something's gonna get in and like a creep, like that creeper that showed up out of nowhere would get in and, and get into my house and I, the door, but I have doors now. So I, I, I can, you guys can come back. Spuds and Rachel. And by the way, Spuds is red. But Rachel, I'm still deciding. I feel like yellow could be a really cute color for you too. You're kind of maybe my most favorite wolf texture of the new ones. I don't want to say that for sure. Also because your name is Rachel. I don't want to say that, but it's whatever. I really like you. Come back, come back. No, 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 come back, come back. There you go. And there you go. Uh, okay, let's go get the... Uh, let's do that. Let's go get oak wood. But in the process, 
I am going to check one more time for the striped wolf. Because I just feel like we have to. He's right here. Like this is its biome. What am I going to do above the doors? Glass? I feel like maybe just yellow terracotta. Oh, no, no, no. Probably, probably more wood planks. We could do like yellow like that. Does that look bad? Going into the glass? Maybe it does. I don't think it looks bad actually. Everyone, everyone's like, no. It makes it, it truncates it a bit, but I don't hate it. How is the sun, horse? How is the sun already setting again? Okay. Ooh, do we kill some skeletons? I feel like yes, we do. Guys, this is a big test for you. Oh, wait a minute. That didn't even solve the... This... <sighs> it didn't even solve the problem that I was saying was a problem. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of funky. I sort of like it. Didn't even solve what my issue was which is a gap above the doors. That's my issue. That's what I needed to solve. So, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe wood, oh, yeah, I know what I wanna do. I wanna make, I, oh, okay, I know what I wanna do. It, it will be, it'll involve breaking these um, and putting these like, um, uh, this is, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it like I've had some amazing, like, guys, actually, I know exactly what to do. It's so perfect. No one's ever thought of it before. It's not just basic Minecraft building. Uh, I think we should kill a couple skeletons and get a couple bones. And then I just wish I, yeah, I, I wish I had at least made iron pants, you know? Um... Yeah, I just, I, I mean, I just know that eventually one of these episodes will go mining and then we'll have an abundance of iron, so it won't really matter. Uh, excuse me, Rachel. Okay, so, yeah, let me, okay, let me just fall real quick is actually what I wanted to do. Uh, let's, this is what we'll do. It's not perfect. It's not done yet. We still have a roof to make, but I'm going to get some skeletons. You guys are going to stay in here and be safe. That's what you're going to do. And I'm going to keep working on my floor. It's annoying to me that this is like this and I can't put down my bed, but I just know that it's going to take me like an hour to work from here to there, especially because someone might in my comments just like tell me how directional blocks work. Uh, I shouldn't use my arrows, but I'm going to, because I'm a bait. Well, I only have seven, so that's not even going to really help me that much. But you guys stay in here, and if I get hit, please don't teleport to me. Like, that's my fear. I feel like I'm going to go into, well, see, I would say that the perfect place to go is into the, well, I can't go that way, because I can't risk entering the village with my bad omen. But I was going to say that the perfect place to go would be the desert, because it's just like wide open. I can kill skeletons from a distance. But then that's awfully close to the pillager outpost. So I actually just don't know. I've really done it. I've really done it to myself. So, oh, why is there light up there? Is that just like the moon hitting? Like, did I put a torch down? No, I didn't put a torch down. Anyway, let's kill some skeletons, like I said, gather some oak, and then check for the striped wolf. That's what I want to do. Whether or not I finish the roof in this episode is maybe, you know, who says that these have to be an hour? Why can't they be longer? Who says? I can't believe there's an outpost right there. I'm so mad about it. I just didn't have my render up. I was excited to go through this 
uh, desert because I was thinking, oh, go to a desert temple and go to like a, see if there's a village. Uh, no, I meant it there. You gonna shoot me again? Yay, we got a bone. We got ourselves a bone and I really just am not good. It's gonna, bear with me, it's gonna take me probably this whole series to learn how to use a shield correctly. Uh, anyway. Okay, more skeletons. Why is there a light source up there? Isn't that weird? Did I put down a torch? I just, I don't know. Ooh, don't look at me. You're looking at me and I don't need, I probably do need string for something. <gasps> don't jump on me. Yeah! Sheesh, man. Uh, there's a skeleton up there. Yeah, okay. How many bones did we get off that guy? Just one. Is that all that they drop now? It, or it's all just kind of probably random. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again? There we go. I have two bones, two arrows left. Is that a parrot? Is that my parrot? No! Oh my gosh, one heart, one heart, one heart, one heart, one heart. Ew! Did you not see my parrot? I swear I saw my parrot. Okay, I'm confused. I didn't tame that parrot, but he was there, right? You saw him? Did you see the blue? Like I saw the blue. I swear. I swear I saw the parrot. I'm gonna punch in on the edit probably and see if he was there. I've got one arrow left. Nope, I needed to use my shield. Use my shield. Okay, eat, eat food, creeper. Dumb, dumb creeper. Uh, parrot? Am I lying? No, it is you. You were there. I was so scared for you. And I have no seeds. I'm gonna get some seeds. I've got four bones. That's not bad to potentially, uh, if I see, I just want the bones in case, heaven forbid, we find a striped wolf. And it's, I think it's more of the rare ones, right? One of the rarer ones. I'm just worried that we would see a striped wolf in this teeny tiny Mesa Woods. This postage stamp of a Mesa Woods biome. And then not be able, oh, cactus, we should get green. Uh, and we should also grow, we should have like an area for growing some stuff probably. <gasps> There's two skeletons, but I don't have arrows anymore. So I'm gonna have to, oh, spider. This shield is, its durability is probably gonna critical, critical, no, 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 oh, bad, 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 bad. Oh man, I'm annoyed. Like I don't wanna be fighting all three mobs at one time. Okay. The only one I really wanted to get was the skeleton not you okay there you are buddy i just thought it would be better to have one more bone but no i don't have armor so everything feels i mean i do have some armor on actually did my gold chest plate break And did you even drop a bone? Oh boy. Okay, I really wanted to, I was like, I'm gonna show that I can use a shield and successfully fight off a skeleton. And then 
I did the opposite. And, okay, alright. Well, we gotta kill this spider first. Can I? Successful? Okay. Come here, skeleton, no! Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Don't, don't get my parrot! Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ha ha! Oh my gosh, that was so satisfying. Five bones. Okay. Um. My parrot. We've got to get some seeds. And I was going to say we could sleep, but it's honestly almost day. Is that really true? Um, I'm still going to get some seeds and maybe tame a parrot. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. I really, really shouldn't do it because I don't want a menagerie of pets. Like, I don't even think, I mean, I did tame two horses and abandon one already. Blah! Okay. Um, <gasps> Now, if all these skeletons burn up in the daylight, would they drop bones or would I have had to have hit them first for them to drop the bones? How do you? All right, guys. All right. Okay. Where's the sun? Oh, that one's burning up there. Oh, you're burning. Great. Oh, yep. All right. Work smarter, not harder. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, don't take my bones, Enderman. You didn't, did you? Six, seven. They just dropped one. Look at that. That's funny. Uh, okay. Cool. All right. Oh, there's still a skeleton over here. Don't mind if I do. Get another bone. It is a wolf taming series. That's so easy. Shields, man. Why was I so blind to shields? I need a water bucket. Anyway, yeah, I've tamed two horses. I don't know. I like, do I name the parrot? I feel like I don't. I feel like I have to focus on the wolves. But sure, like, this series could expand. I definitely, like I said, I definitely want a pet fox. I know you can't have a pet fox, but you know what I mean. I want to. I want to trap a fox and make it make it stay by me because I just I love foxes I want a red fox um, or I guess are they are they considered orange in this um, in Minecraft or are they called red foxes oh I forgot I have these pink petals uh, do I need dirt I guess I don't need, I can make more sticks. Oh, I, I didn't take the chests either. Okay, let's take this back. Let's go look for the striped wolf. Oh, I'm still so far on my roof, okay. But, you know, we're getting there. I need to add something to the outside of there, like trap doors or something. Guys, do you want a pet parrot? <sighs> it's not. It's not a resounding yes. Oh, oh, you do? You do want a pet parrot? The reason why I think I want a pet fox is because I had a great job when I was, um, I guess it was when I was just out of high school. I had a job working on a golf course and one of the things that happened to me among many crazy things that happened working on a golf course because I worked um, actually when I say on the golf course I mean 
smack dab in the middle of the 18 holes, like at hole nine in the woods. And I would have to go to the clubhouse every morning and load up my golf cart with all of the things I would need for the day, all of the snacks I was gonna sell and the drinks, hard boiled eggs. I remember one time I, I crashed my golf cart in the rain and hard boiled eggs spilled everywhere. Uh, it was a steep hill, but, um, yeah, I, um, let me not shoot this parrot. There was a fox that would come and visit me in the evenings, and I would feed him all of the hot dogs that didn't sell that day. Where'd he go? Did my blue parrot just despawn? No. You guys saw him, right? Like I was climbing right to, I did put down a torch. Did I put down this torch? I mean, who else would have? I hear a skeleton. Wait. Parrot, I collected the seeds. Were you leading me to a striped wolf this whole time? It's just the music swelling. Uh, no, this is actually sad. This is sad. My parrot despawned and I hear a skeleton. <gasps> My parrot! It's you! You're a baby zombie and a skeleton sounding parrot. Maybe I don't want you. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all my seeds. You don't care. There's no other grass. I have to go over here to get grass. Now I kind of don't want you. I wanted a striped, I'm doing my striped wolf check. And then I've, I've got to chop down a bunch of these. Well, yeah, I can chop down these trees. Uh, anyway, yeah, it was hot. It was a mix of hot dogs and Italian sausage that I would sell. Hi, armadillos. Have you seen any striped wolves? I'm gonna be so excited to see a striped wolf because that's like definitely one of the wolves that is meant to kind of look like more of an exotic dog. One of these days I wanna figure out all of the textures and what wolves they're supposed to represent because one of them definitely looked like um, like an African wild dog, no? I'm gonna get all these scutes for arm. We're gonna, imagine if we make all the eight sets of armors. <gasps> imagine if we make all eight sets of armor in advance. That would be so cute. Hi, sheep. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I would feed this fox Italian sausage and hot dogs that didn't sell and it was nice. I like foxes a lot. Oh, and a goat. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm not getting, especially if we can find an alpine meadow, there's no way that I'm not going to have a pet goat. I really want a pet mountain goat. So, yeah, I think it will, I think it will be likely that we'll have a couple other. I just wanted, like, one more seed because I cannot believe that that parrot wanted nothing to do with me he was like yeah I speak English and I heard you say that you just don't even care if I live or die you might not even name me you're gonna just set sail in the ocean and hope that I follow you all right two more seeds that's it because really this isn't the focus of this this series so but he just seemed like my buddy. Blue parrot, where'd you go? And a pet armadillo I think would be nice too. So yeah, we're, we're getting lots of pets. Uh, there's a well, I don't see a village. I really wanna make a spyglass. Is the parrot gone now again? <gasps> Here you are, hey. Yay! You're my pet, parrot. Come on, 
Get on my shoulder like a good pet parrot. What are you doing? Do you not know what's supposed to happen right now? You're supposed to... Hey. Okay. Are you sit... Oh, there. Okay. You were sat down. I, I don't blame you. There you go. Okay. All right. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. You know what? I never even put this together. Because I just... Are you still on my shoulder? Even though I'm jumping? Really? I never put this together. You're a hyacinth macaw, aren't you? Oh my gosh. I saw so many of you in Brazil. You are my favorite. Why did I not think? I guess I just thought you were like too blue. But of course you are. Oh, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. Maybe in the next episode I'll have to regale people with my adventure. Although, I feel like I, I for a while, was going to make an entirely uh, dedicated video to it. Because, you know, it's not every day that you see an ocelot in real life. Anyway, come meet Spuds and Rachel. And hopefully you'll get along with them. And you will stop making skeleton and baby zombie sounds. Because that's not nice. All right. Oh, hello, Molly. You ready? You ready to go, Molly? Uh, did I? Oh, I hear you. Where are you? You're on my shoulder. I love you. <laughs> oh, you're my best friend. Listen, I have a question. Like, would it bother people if I finish this off camera? Like, I don't know. It's not going to be exciting content. But I guess that's my question to you for this episode is can I do anything to <laughs> my horse? My horse is actually a parrot in the trees and my parrot is my horse. Uh, can I do things between the episodes? Like, like not a lot, but like, you know, smelt glass or, you know, arrange my chests. Or is that just not the vibe of this series? I respect either way if it's not the vibe. It's getting dark again, and I haven't finished my... Oh, I just really wanted to finish this. There. And then... Okay, can you sit somewhere? Because I don't want you on my shoulder if things spawn. Can you... I think you should sit on the cartography table. I think that that would be adorable. Sit. Sit. Nope. Sit down. Perch somewhere. Okay, just sit there. Nope. Nope. Come over here. Cartography, right here. Cartographer table, that's you. Yeah, and down, nope, nope, not not to me, no. Cartography table, sit, perch on it. Nope, no, don't come to me. No, don't you dare, there you go. Uh, okay, um, I guess I'll hold off on doing this because I haven't gotten the answer to my question yet about whether or not I can do things between the episodes. So I don't want to end this episode and say in the next episode, I did, I finished the roof because what if the overwhelming amount of comments are like, don't you dare finish the roof. And then I did. So now I'm quite trapped. Oh, let's sleep. That's why we built this house. So we can sleep. Yeah, I feel like this house isn't that special, but I feel like once the... F Where are you? Should we get more bones? Oh, there's... Oh, 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 oh hi. No. Nope. No, no. Oh, they drop things anyway. Okay, great. I thought maybe you had to hit them. Um, okay. Cool design feature. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think it's neat. Was not my intention. Would have been better for this, the one that had the torch on it, actually. Maybe I'll move the torch down. I completely forgot about stripped wood. Actually, um, 
I actually like the look of it. So I'm going to break my iron axe. Look, I broke my iron axe. I don't think I like the stripped wood with the jungle doors. But that ship has sailed, maybe? Oh, man. Do I want to strip all the wood? It goes better with the yellow. I can't undo this! Oh, I, I kind of like it better. I sort of like the vibe of it more, I think. <laughs> oh... I'm just, I think I'm bothered by the fact that you can't undo it. Oh, wait, where's my stone? Okay. Well, yeah, it's tough. I do want to go mining. I do want just like more iron, more copper. But I am aware that there will be stuff that we leave here and then there will be stuff that we take. But we can't have too much that we want to take. Otherwise, we'll never end up moving. So when I say I should make eight little, you know, pieces of armadillo armor, or I guess six, really, for the six wolves that we have yet to find, uh, not if they don't stack, is what I'm saying. That would be bad. Uh, okay, I can't undo it. I can't undo it. I can't undo it, but I don't want to. Um... It's a compulsion now. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. But I love it. It's nice. It's nice. And I think it goes good with the... No, I don't know. Maybe I didn't want to do that. Oh, but now I have to. Now I have to do it here, too. Oh, this is... No. I... No. Wait. No, no. I, li I think I like it. I think I like it. I think it... I think it's... I think it's okay. I think it really works. Like, I think it makes sense of the jungle and the glazed. Still might replace the glass eventually. Um, and I've got to bend this. I don't know how to do this roof now. I don't know what I wanted. I don't know what my vision was with the wood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, at all. And now it's hard. Now I need, you know what I need is I need um, scaffolding. I don't actually know what to do with that. Um, I'm going to do like a... Like a this, I think. Don't know why. Don't know why. And then... Maybe a this? I don't enjoy the parrot noise. Do you know what though? I should talk about birds because I have, I have such an interest in birds now. I mean, I think that that's what happens when you turn 40, but let me tell you, I have so many birds at my cabin and they're cool. Like, like I, oh, Molly, Molly is done with my Minecraft episode. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I've got cool birds. I've got cool birds. And I, I'm not like a person who would ever own birds as a pet. Because I that's a whole other tangent. I think it's kind of sad. Um, no offense. No offense. But you know what? I'm going to offend you probably. If you have birds, keep your birds. I just don't think that it's... You'd have to explain to me in the comments why it's okay to clip their wings. Because I really don't like it. Anyway, the point is I've adopted like 50 birds outside of my cabin and maybe I'll talk about them in the next episode if people seem amenable to that uh but until next time <laughs> Paige and Molly love you go rescue a dog